correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was the 70s when uh, motorcycle drivers in California decided that uh, the the helmet law was unconstitutional or they're just not going to take it anymore. We're not going to wear helmets while we drive our motorcycles in California. And the legislation and the, 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 all the politicians wouldn't give it to them, wouldn't allow them to to uh, take their own safety into their own hands. And they took those helmets and they threw them on the steps of City Hall. And there went the law. There went the abolishment of the helmet law, motorcycle helmet law in California. I think that that's where we're at right now. Uh, that um, My name is Marcus Conti. I'm an uh, investigative reporter here on YouTube and a candidate for the United States Senate in New York. And I think that that's where we're at. So what I want to report today is um, I was in I was reading my uh, free free newspaper yesterday, and um, you could see there's uh, Senator New York Senator Kristen Gillibrand, and she's talking about student loans. Right? She's talking about student loans, like how how she's I'll read it for you. Student loans de- student loans demand congressional aid. Gillibrand says. Senator Gillibrand on Saturday pushed a pair of bills that would help students with their debt, hoping to schedule a vote on the proposed legislation by the end of the year. Stop right there. Shady politician. Why not do it now? The, poli- the, 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 the end of the year is after her re-election. Right? That's, that's politics, okay? This, this message goes out to the... Um, I'll just read the statistics first. There's one point. Three trillion dollars in student debt in this country. Seven million debtors are in default. Forty-four million borrowers. Average debt is thirty-seven thousand dollars a year each. Right? In New York, okay, because we're in New York and we're trying to knock Gillibrand out of the box. Eighty-two billion dollars in debt. Twelve percent of all New York debt is student loans. It's about two million people. So, what I propose is this, right? Gillibrand, the push, here, let's continue with Gillibrand's article in the uh, free newspaper, free press, of course, uh, promoting Gillibrand. The push came as Gillibrand accused the Trump administration of supporting the lenders over the students. <laughs> now it's Trump's fault. Everything is Trump's fault, right? For, for eight years of Obama and Bush, they do shit, right? They, they, they just escalated the student loan debt. By the way, student loan debt is the, is the only loan on the U.S. books that you can't get out of. You, no bankruptcy. You can go to court and fight all you want. The, the states are above the courts in terms of collecting that student loan. They basically follow you to the, to the grave. So any indication that, or any implication that a senator or governor says that we'll help you repay those loans is a big middle finger. It's a big fuck you because, I'll continue to read. It's about elevate, this is Gil Gillibrand, right? It's about elevating our voices, making sure people understand that what's actually happening in these communities how student debt crisis in America is harming the economy and and really harming the ability of student and adult Americans to really move on in investing in small business. It's all bullshit, right? right? Here's the two bills introduced earlier would allow eligible students to refinance debt at the going rate and would apply to both private and federal loans. Right? The second bill would allow certain borrowers to automatically enroll in affordable income-driven loan repayment, okay? So the bottom line is this. It doesn't work, right? Repayment doesn't work, right? So as your senator, right, students, millennials, if we beat Gillibrand on November 6th, Marcus Conti, as your senator, will hold a rally in Albany, and we will expunge all student loan debt. And we'll make city and state universities free. Tuition free and all student loan debt on the books 
will officially be expunged. Okay? And how do we do that? Do we need a million, two million people to get out on the steps of Albany and carry on? No, I'm the senator, right? We'll just, we'll, we'll, we'll operate remotely and students, you don't pay those debts anymore. You don't pay those loans. You take those loans, you throw them in the garbage, right? And we'll delete that, we'll delete all New York student loan debt once and for all. Make college, colleges and universities debt free. That'll happen November 7th if you vote for me. As your senator, that's what I'll do for you. So this is action, right? I'm an investigative journalist, but this is, this is, this is how, you know, our revolution and, and I'm not here to be your, they, you know, I, I want to make a comment that uh, I reached out to our revolution and I showed them the, uh, I showed them that the video, my campaign video, and they said, the first, the first steps in getting our endorsement is to reach out to the local community organizers. I, I was like, listen, I'm not, <laughs> I sent the guy an email. I said, look, I'm not interested in, in your endorsement. I'm here to lead you, you idiot. I'm here to lead you. So, so this pisses me off. You know, when I read this crap in the in the local papers, it's you got the senator from New York carrying on that she's gonna she's gonna fix the problem of student loan debt. It's a fucking talking point, right? They're trying to get the they're trying to get you, idiot millennial people. <laughs> I I don't mean to put it that way. I have enormous respect for young people. And, and your ability to make change. But if you follow, if you follow, you know, fuckers like Gillibrand, right? They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna lasso you with those debts to the day you die. They're gonna follow you all the way to the grave in an inescapable student loan debt. Delete the debt. Delete it. Over. No refinance. That's just another way. When they say refinance, and we'll repackage the, that's just another way of saying, you're not getting out of this debt, right? We don't care that the, that one in six Americans are on food stamps and the economy sucks and that all the wealth is bleeding out the top and corporations don't pay a nickel in tax and that, that we gave $700 billion in bailouts to the banks that didn't need it and continue to bail them out when they don't need it, when they, when they don't pay tax, right? So, but but they're saying that students, nah, nah, student, fuck you. You gotta, you better pay that loan. We're gonna follow you to the day you die. So this has got to change in this country, right? When people stand up, when it, when when on November seven, or leading up to it, if I'm elected, that'll be the first thing we do. Right? We'll, we'll it will expunge all student loan debt. And how do we do that? We're not asking the governor. We're not asking the the state legislature. We're telling them that the student loan debt is now deleted. Delete it. Right? We're not gonna the students are not gonna pay. And I'll be I'll broadcast hours and hours a day if you like, as your senator from New York, to delete the student loan debt. Now young people get behind this. Get behind the message. Get behind the message. What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? Hi, my name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist here in New York City, Brooklyn, and a candidate for the United States Senate in New York. Peace.